Here is your broom and mop. Get to cleaning. One day I will be the queen of Lifetopia. Right now you can be the queen of cleaning. Chop chop. Isn't she the best maid, mom? I'm going to run away and I'm not going to come back. Will you, Nancy, be my partner for life? of Nancy Drew. I have to check up on Rachel and Mom. But don't be surprised about my room. I can't sleep sometimes, but at least I have a roof over my head. Looks like Rachel's asleep, for once. Good morning, Nancy. Morning, Mom. Here is your broom and mop. Get to cleaning! <sighs> okay, Mom. Your punishment for last night? You have to clean the house all day. What? Why? Because a certain someone thought she could stay up all night playing Roblox on her phone. Of course. How could I forget that Mom's always watching me? Mom and Rachel always spy on me. One day I'll move out of this house. Once you clean the house, you have to do the dishes before your sister wakes up. One day, Mom. One day, I will be the queen of Livetopia. <laughs> right now, you can be the queen of cleaning. Chop, chop! and cares about Rachel and me well you missed a spot <sighs> there's your answer remember no food until the whole house is clean Ugh. because by the time I'm done cleaning... There are always plates to wash. obsession a beginner good job Nancy but you missed a place oh no the least you could do is stop being lazy and clean your room you're always so messy Nancy make sure to scrub the floor properly God knows how long it has been since you last cleaned <laughs> Isn't she the best maid, Mom? 
The lesson behind chores is simple. Never skip your chores. But food... After you're done with your room, water the grass outside. This will never stop, will it? I'm sick at living at home. Why am I always stuck cleaning and they get to be on their phones? <sighs> okay. I'm going to run away and I'm not going to come back. Literally, I should have done this so long ago. Will they miss me? Unlikely. Will I be able to live without them? Yes. How hard can it be living by myself? I've worked for so long and there's nothing I can't handle. I have managed to live seven days without starving myself to death. I have been cleaning motels for money, everything is okay, but I'm not fine. To be honest, my life is a mess. Who... what? What's a pretty girl like you sitting alone in a place like this? Oh my god, I think I'm in love. Do you mind if I sit? Uh, that is if you can call a complete mess pretty. What's wrong? Uh, I don't know how long I can keep this up. Cleaning motels, being hungry, it's just... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want you to feel like I'm putting my problems on you. <laughs> Nonsense. Who wouldn't have time to spare to listen to a beautiful girl? And it would be my pleasure to break the ice. My name is Prince Philip II. What? A prince? <laughs> and when I'm sick of people knowing me as Prince Philip, I come here to just be Philip. I'm sorry, is everything okay? You have nothing to be sorry for. It's just my parents who have been trying to control Lifetopia. Sometimes the duty of a prince can get on my nerves. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm terribly sorry for chatting your ears off. I don't know what to say. It's actually nice to talk to someone. Thank you. I would stop the world if I had to see you starve. Philip is handsome and sweet. How can I ever make it up to him? Can I even? He is a prince. I hate to interrupt, but you were talking about staying hungry. I... I ran away from home. My evil mother was controlling my life, and I've had enough. From one mess to another, I'm just stuck. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, do you stay nearby? I used to live at the ranch near the Oaks community. Um, but because of my mom, things have been difficult. But I don't blame her because I'm free now. As a wise king once said, adventure must start with running away from home. I'm not encouraging everyone to run away, unless your family mistreats you, but... Nancy, I think you need a complete makeover. A complete makeover? Why don't I take you around Livetopia today? A pretty girl like you is not made for cleaning motels. Is it okay to be seen with you? <laughs> like I said, I'm Philip today, not Prince Philip. Please, allow me. I thought you could only find a Prince Charming in Disney, but it looks like I found mine. He's just amazing.
Go ahead, my pretty Nancy. Nancy, I wish I could stop time and save this moment forever. I've never met someone as beautiful as you. I really don't know what to say. <laughs> I know. I'm full of surprises, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I know we just ate a minute ago, but please, don't hesitate to buy any ice cream. It's on the house from the royal family. And I never thought I could eat ice cream again. It's been so long I forgot how it tasted. You've done so much for me, Prince Philip, and I'm so grateful for it. And, and I, I love, love chocolate, chocolate ice, ice cream. cream. <laughs> <laughs> then, from this day onwards, we will always have ice cream together. But the makeover is not over yet. Please, follow me. I insist that you buy anything that you wish from this store. But you've done so much for me already! And this is only the start, my pretty Nancy. Oh my! Don't I look... Amazing? Yes! I can't believe your mother locked you away in an evil tower! Oh Rapunzel, you're simply beautiful, my pretty Nancy! It's decided! Nancy, you will come with me to meet my family! In fact, I must show the whole world how beautiful you are! Uh, okay, you're an amazing man, Philip. And you're an amazing woman, my pretty Nancy. Is it really okay to meet your parents? I insist. Nancy, I would hate for you to go back to your house when all you know about your family is how evil they can be. I want to show you the good side of a family. Oh, you're perfect, Philip. And I think you're perfect too, my pretty Nancy. After you. You weren't kidding when you said you were a royal. <laughs> Please, don't be intimidated. It's my sweet world. 
and I welcome you in it. Philip, Philip, who is this? Hi, I am... Princess Nancy, my soon-to-be bride. Oh, what? She is so pretty, Philip. <laughs> oh, Dad and Mom said they'll be back from Blocksburg today. Bye, Philip. Now that she's gone upstairs to play Roblox as usual, Nancy. I have made up my mind. Will you, Nancy, be my partner for life? Oh, what did he mean? Me? I'm... Oh, yours. OMG, yes! If this is a dream, please don't wake me up. OMG, I'm a princess now. Wait, I'm, I'm a princess now. Take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out. But what matters most to me is you, my pretty Nancy. I love you even if you are not a princess. This has to be a dream. Ever since I first met you in the restaurant, I fell in love with you and your blue eyes. You're going to steal my heart. It's mine now and I'm going to keep it safe. I... I just... wow! I'm a princess! I'm married to the love of my life! I can't, OMG! And you're my princess, the love of my life! Who is that waving at you? Are you serious? Why are they here? Wait, wait! Are you saying they are your evil family who kicked you out? You need to confront them, Nancy. And I will make sure that they don't mock you. That I, Philip, swear. I'll, I'll be right back. You never told me you were seeing a prince. We came here to tell you how sorry we are for mistreating you. And we miss you so much. Please come back. I will never forget how you treated me, Mom. If I win Nancy back, I can live like the Queen and Nancy will forever be my maid. This is too good to be true. Philip is like, so handsome! What did he even see in Nancy? I'm a leagues better! Deep down, we always cared about you, Nancy. And I'm so proud of you. But once Nancy and I become sisters again, I'll show Philip who is the better sister. And then, all I have to do is just make Nancy look bad, and Philip is going to be mine and mine only. Hmm, okay. Really? really? It's, it's that easy. She, she is so, so naive. naive. But so you both have to become my mates until you can live with me and my prince. What are you talking to, brat? <laughs> like I'll ever be your maid. That's your job. Let's go, Rachel. We are done here. <sighs> well, you treated me like a maid. You made me go to bed hungry. So, Mom, Rachel, I don't want to see you anymore. Don't ruin your pretty smile and beauty time on negativity, my pretty Nancy. It's time for us to leave. My prince. I'll go anyway with you, my prince. Will you? Prince Philip, have Princess Nancy to be your wife. I will. Will you, Princess Nancy, love him?
comfort and keep him as long as you live. I will. I declare you both as husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. The day has finally come where I can wake up with you by my side every day. I will be with you forever, my handsome prince. What a magnificent day. My sweet Philip has found his true love. Oh, oh I, I remember, remember when, when we, we were young. young. I will cherish you, Nancy. You're prettier than an angel. OMG, I just wish the day to marry you would have been sooner, my handsome prince. But, but we are finally married now. now. My dear, there's something we wish to give you today. And you too, my boy. Is it for the honeymoon? Oh my god, Philip. Our honeymoon, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> we, we think, think you, you are both, both ready. ready. Could it be? We will expect you today at 12 p.m. sharp, Philip. But you can take your time, my dear Nancy. We'll do our best to come on time. <laughs> Is that the surprise? Oh, and she's a jester. Oh, surely you jest. Rome, once you get married, remember that when you have a discussion with your future wife, always get the last two words in. Yes, dear. Hey! <laughs> At least his jokes have improved. Do something entertaining, gesture. Look, my king and queen, I'm a dancing hot dog. <laughs> Splendid. Here's another one. I'm the king now. I'm so bald now. <laughs> <laughs> He's mocking my dad. In my office now, Jester! Prince and Princess. My love, it's time we go shopping. I have to buy you all the clothes you want. And I'll buy you all the games you want, my handsome. Are you excited, Nancy? You can barely sit still. <laughs> I've never been so stressed in my life. Everything will be fine. I'm sure my parents just want to tell us how we should behave in public. Oh my god! Dad! Mom! 
Oh my god! Philip, look! <laughs>